John's quaint abode nestled in the heart of a serene neighborhood, surrounded by the comforting familiarity of neatly manicured lawns and white picket fences. Despite the apparent calm, a shadowy enigma loomed next door, a stooped, elderly neighbor whose peculiarities had transformed into an unsettling mystery. The man's form, always etched against the backdrop of his home, invoked an inexplicable unease that clung to John's consciousness like a lingering fog. As daylight gave way to twilight, a curious observation intensified John's disquiet. A single room in the neighbor's house emitted a soft, persistent glow throughout the night, casting another worldly luminescence that permeated the veil of drawn curtains. Initially dismissed as an eccentric nocturnal habit, perhaps a solitary individual's unique ritual, the subtle radiance became a spectral beacon that beckoned John's gaze, drawing him into the mysterious orbit of his neighbor's dwelling. On a particularly ominous night, as the clock's pendulum swung into the silent hours, John's furtive glance towards the neighbor's window unveiled an unsettling tableau. The elderly man, his eyes vacant of life, stood as a silent sentinel behind the translucent barrier. A chill snake down John's spine, the hollow gaze imprinting itself upon his consciousness, a silent malevolence that lingered within the confines of the neighbor's home. Retreating hastily to the sanctuary of his bed, John couldn't shake the haunting image that now danced in the shadows of his consciousness. The subsequent night unfolded with a disconcerting deja vu. The room continued to emit its ethereal glow. The neighbor had vanished from his spectral perch. Unease festered within John as he, compelled by an inexplicable force, shifted his attention to the neighbor's front door, slightly ajar in the stillness of the night. A foreboding atmosphere hung thick, and the subtle creak of the door echoed like a distant omen, beckoning him to explore the unknown. As the threshold between apprehension and curiosity blurred, enigmatic sounds, both eerie and unsettling, wafted from the recesses of the neighbor's residence. John strained to decipher the cryptic symphony, each note resonating with a peculiar, almost unnatural cadence. The air itself seemed to pulse with an unspoken menace, as if the very fabric of the night held secrets that defied rational understanding. Within the confines of his own haven, John grappled with a disconcerting revelation, the possibility that the unsettling neighbor had transcended the boundary of mere eccentricity and breached the sanctity of his dwelling. The once secure cocoon of John's home now seemed vulnerable, a fragile barrier tested by the encroaching shadows of the unknown. Days turned into nights, and the uneasy tension in the neighborhood deepened. John's once familiar surroundings now carried a subtle air of mystery, especially when the sun dipped below the horizon. The glow emanating from the neighbor's room persisted, a constant reminder of the unsettling enigma that lurked next door. Haunted by the hollow gaze of the old man, John found himself drawn to the window during the nocturnal hours. Each time he peered into the darkness, an unnerving anticipation gripped him, as if something ominous lingered just beyond the threshold of perception. Sleep became elusive, replaced by the silent vigil of a man grappling with the unknown. One night, as the clock ticked towards midnight, John's fateful gaze met the spectral visage of the elderly neighbor once again. This time, the old man's eyes seemed to pierce through the glass, locking onto John's with an intensity that transcended the boundaries of the physical world. A gasp escaped John's lips, and a cold sweat broke across his brow as he recoiled from the unnerving connection. With a hesitancy born out of instinctive fear, John forced himself to look away, retreating into the shadows of his room. The glow from the neighbor's house cast elongated shadows that danced along the walls, an eerie ballet that seemed to mock the pretense of normalcy in the quiet neighborhood. Sleep remained elusive, replaced by the unsettling awareness that the line between waking reality and the surreal had blurred, leaving John on the precipice of a macabre revelation. The following night unfolded with a disconcerting familiarity. The glow persisted, an unyielding beacon that beckoned John towards the window. Yet, when he mustered the courage to glance into the night, the old man had vanished, leaving behind an empty room cloaked in an unsettling silence. An indescribable foreboding clung to the air, as if the very fabric of the night held its breath, waiting for the next chapter of the unnerving tale to unfold. As the neighborhood slept, John wrestled with the shadows that now seemed to encroach upon his own existence. The once ordinary routine of his life had given way to a palpable anxiety, the boundaries of reality tested by the spectral glow that persisted next door. The neighborhood, once a bastion of familiarity, 
had become a realm of secrets and uncertainties, with John teetering on the brink of a revelation that promised to shatter the illusion of normalcy. The passage of time in the quiet neighborhood took on a surreal quality, as if the very essence of the surroundings had become entwined with an otherworldly mystery. John, grappling with restless nights and the haunting glow from the neighbor's house, felt an inexorable pull towards the heart of the enigma that had consumed his once tranquil existence. One fateful night, the air carried a palpable tension as John approached the window, the glow casting an ethereal pallor upon the surroundings. As he peered into the darkness, the old man's spectral figure materialized once again, eyes piercing through the veil that separated their worlds. This time, however, there was a subtle change, a knowing malevolence that transcended the unsettling connection. Fear gripped John, and an unspoken understanding passed between them, as if the boundary between observer and observed had been irrevocably breached. Summoning the courage to break the silent communion, John recoiled from the window, a profound sense of vulnerability gnawing at his resolve. The glow from the neighbor's house, now pulsating with an ominous energy, cast long shadows that seemed to stretch towards him like malevolent tendrils. The once cozy neighborhood had transformed into a theater of the macabre, with John cast as an unwitting protagonist in a tale that defied rational explanation. As the night deepened, a peculiar quiet settled over the neighborhood, broken only by the distant hum of a solitary street lamp. In the stillness, John's senses heightened, attuned to the subtle shifts in the air that signaled an impending revelation. An unspoken truth lingered in the shadows, teasing the periphery of his consciousness. With trepidation, John approached the window once more, the glow now pulsating with an intensity that mirrored the rhythmic beat of his own heart. The old man's spectral figure had vanished, leaving behind an empty room bathed in another worldly luminescence. A disconcerting hush enveloped the scene, broken only by the distant rustle of leaves, whispering secrets that eluded comprehension. In the quiet neighborhood, an indescribable force seemed to awaken, and the very fabric of reality contorted as John confronted the malevolent shadows that clung to his every step. A foreboding realization dawned upon him, the boundary between the living and the spectral had eroded, and he stood on the precipice of a truth that defied the comfort of ignorance. As the night wore on, a chilling inevitability unfolded. The glow from the neighbor's house intensified, casting a sinister pallor over the surroundings. Shadows danced along the walls, converging into an amalgamation of malevolence that seemed to seep through the very walls of John's home. The air thickened with another worldly presence, as if the darkness itself had taken form. In the final moments, as John grappled with the encroaching shadows, the boundaries between reality and the spectral dissolved into an abyss of uncertainty. The glow reached its zenith, illuminating the neighborhood in a ghastly chiaroscuro. With a guttural crescendo, the shadows converged upon John's trembling form, and the once quiet neighborhood became a theater of unspeakable horrors. The morning sun rose over a neighborhood forever changed, a tableau of normalcy shattered by the malevolent shadows that lingered in the aftermath. John's home stood silent, a witness to the enigma that had unraveled within its walls. The glow from the neighbor's house had extinguished, leaving behind an empty room cloaked in an unsettling stillness. The quiet neighborhood, once a bastion of serenity, now held the echoes of a chilling tale, a tale of a man who, in seeking answers to the mysteries that lurked next door, had become ensnared in a malevolent dance with the unknown. The spectral glow had receded, but the shadows it cast endured, haunting the collective memory of the once tranquil enclave.